Akasi Akagia, aka Gamer Granny, has finally returned. She is a premium 5 star character who uses a pistol, deals frost damage, and is an incredibly powerful support character. Her main gameplay gimmick revolves around the fact that she decreases enemy movement speed and increases the amount of damage that they take. First up we have her standard skill called Hover. Akasia throws a, I'm gonna try my best, Yugen <laughs> Moon Dart that flies around her dealing frost damage to enemies upon each hit and applies the Winter Moon effect, decreasing enemy movement speed by 10% for a maximum of 3 stacks aka movement speed reduction by 30%. Her neural skills makes it so that she can have 3 Yugen Moon Darts active on the field at once, and if the enemy has a Winter Moon effect stacked 3 times, Akasia can shoot them, they will blow up, getting launched into the air, and get 200% frost damage. It's honestly a really good disruption effect. The really good thing about Hover is that Akasia can throw out the Moon Darts and then immediately switch over to your main DPS and the Moon Darts will still be active, dealing damage and reducing the movement speed of enemies, so your main DPS will have an easier time hitting enemies and just doing more damage in general. Her support skill is called Moon Halo. Akasia throws a Kagen Moon Dart directly where the enemy is standing for 10 seconds, dealing frost damage to enemies and applying the Moon Tide effect, which decreases their all type resistance by 14% basically increasing the amount of damage they receive from all damage types. Thermal, Frost, Chaos, Electric, Kinetic, every single character in this game will deal additional damage. So this makes her a universal support, which is really really good, obviously. Her neural skills are also pretty good. The first one makes it so that enemies get sucked directly towards the Kagen Moon Dart, and the second one makes it so that the Moon Dart will follow the hit target basically trapping the enemy. The effects of Moon Halo will activate, which is obviously a really, really good thing. Sorry about the voice crack. <laughs> and lastly, we have our ultimate Lunar Eclipse. Akasia throws out a large crescent moon wheel to create a Lunar Eclipse storm <laughs> in the target area, dealing frost damage every 0.5 seconds. Basically, every second, the enemy will be hit twice in an area and decreases their movement speed by 10%. Her neural skills are also pretty good. The first one makes it so that Lunar Eclipse Storm can now suck targets towards the center, and the second one increases the duration of Lunar Eclipse by 10 seconds. Yeah, this is going to last a really long time, specifically 18 seconds, which is obviously a really good effect. Okay, so I know I said lastly ultimate, but I kind of forgot we have to talk about her passive. <laughs> so it's called Crescent Moon and it's really, really good. It increases full squad's damage to targets inflicted with movement speed reduction by 2.5%. For each 100 alignment index, increases by an extra 1%. Now I know 2.5 doesn't sound like a lot, but if you max out her passive by activating all of her neuronics, this gets increased to 10%. So your team is going to be doing an additional 10% damage to enemies inflicted with movement speed reduction, plus the additional percentage based on how much alignment index you have. Now this passive only applies to her ultimate and standard because her support skill doesn't actually reduce enemy movement speed. But like I mentioned earlier, you can use hover, her standard skill, and then immediately switch to your main DPS, and then of course you can do the same thing with her ultimate. So this is actually a really, really powerful and easy to activate passive. So a good rotation for Akasia Kage would be something like this. You start as Akasia, you use her skill, her hover, then you use her ultimate, then you switch to your main DPS, use Akasia's support skill, Moon Halo, that way, Akasia's passive will activate because the enemy has reduced movement speed and her support skill will reduce the amount of defenses that they have. So your main DPS is just going to be doing an insane amount of damage. But of course, we're not done because we need to talk about her manifestations. But more specifically, what you want to aim for is manifestation 2. When equipped with a frost weapon, increases Kage and Moon Dart's resistance reduction effect by 40%. So this goes from 14% reduced defenses to 54% reduced defense. <laughs> it's kind of crazy how powerful Manifestation 2 is. 
Now, of course, you can try and summon for more copies of her, but you also have the slow process of grinding out more extract from the personnel file. It's honestly up to you. If you're free to play, you of course, you can try risking going for more manifestations through summons, or you can just grind it out through personnel file and just slowly unlock manifestation too. But manifestation too is definitely something you want to try and get. Now let's talk about builds. So of course, in terms of weapons, you have her premium five-star weapon called Pine Aurora. It has a couple of effects. It increases her frost damage by 9%, but it also increases the frost damage of the active character by 5.4%. This would be good for somebody like Katya who deals frost damage, but this is basically worthless for somebody like Fanny Cornet or Yao Winter Solstice who do not deal frost damage. And lastly, each time the support skill hits an enemy, increases full squad damage by 3.6% for five seconds for a maximum of five stacks, which is honestly very powerful. But if you don't wanna go chasing for her five-star premium weapon, you do have two other choices. First up, we have the four-star pistol called Aye Aye, Captain. When dealing damage with a support skill, targets frost resistance decreases by 7.2% for five seconds. Once again, this is really good if your main DPS is a frost character like Kaya, but this also increases Akasi Kaguya's damage specifically as well, so that's nice. However, if you don't plan on using a frost main DPS like Kaya, you do have the option of Concrete Jungle, which is what I have equipped for my Akasia mainly because I don't actually have II Captain yet. <laughs> what Concrete Jungle does is it increases the Ballistic Damage, Standard Skill Damage, and Ultimate Skill Damage by 16%, meaning she will be able to deal even more damage as a support. Her skill and ultimate actually have a really long uptime, all things considered, so she will be helping out your main DPS, not by making them deal additional damage, but by Akasia Kaguya herself dealing additional damage. As for logistics, she actually does not have a premium 5-star set. Akasi Kage was the launch premium 5-star, so there was no event tied to her, so she didn't get a specific event squad. Her best in slot currently is the permanent Twilight Squad. At set 2, it increases the skill damage by 24%, and at set 3, after dealing damage with an active skill or auxiliary unit, the target's resistance to that type of damage decreases by 16%. Once again, basically this increases the amount of frost damage that the enemy receives. So again, really good if you're using somebody like Kaya, but if you're using somebody else, then it's not great. Kaya herself is still dealing additional damage, but your main DPS won't receive the benefits. So yeah. As for what kind of substats you want to go for, alignment index is obviously incredibly powerful but it's because it increases not only the damage of all of her skills, but also increases the power of her passive. Her skills also build off of attack, so attack percentage is also really good for her. As for the final one, frost damage is good if you want her specifically to be dealing more damage. You could also give her auxiliary strength, however, because her skills are considered auxiliary units. So her skills will be dealing additional damage as well. Honestly, either one is fine, frost damage or auxiliary unit, doesn't really matter. Both of them basically have the same effect. So pick your poison, basically. All of that being said, should you summon for Akasia Kaguya? Yeah, obviously dummy. <laughs> she is one of, if not the best support in the game, currently incredibly powerful. Boom, surprise facial. <laughs> so funny story, I originally was not gonna make this video because I just, Hadn't thought about it because for me, I've been playing this game since day one and Akasi Kaguya was the launch five star. So I'm like, yeah, everybody knows what she does. Everybody knows her skills, her passage, that the fact that she's like the best support in the game. But it wasn't until somebody in my recent community post talking about how Nita deserves a goddamn room. <laughs> Seriously, CSUN, give her a goddamn room um, where somebody was like, where's the Akasio video? And I'm like, oh yeah. I should probably make one. <laughs> so here it is. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope it was informative. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. Also, this is not a face reveal. I've shown my face before. It's just been a while. I haven't done it since my channel started uh, growing because of Snowbreak. So, I mean, I guess it's technically a face reveal because you guys have no idea what I look like. Here it is. I know. Uh, 
hope it's not disappointing. <laughs> I have glasses, by the way. But these things are like incredibly reflective. So don't use them when I'm like using the camera. Uh, I do plan on making a video for Moxier. A lot of people didn't start playing Snowbreak until Ka Kaya, the previous version 1.5. So I do plan on making a video about Moxier because she's from version 1.3. So a lot of people either don't have her and probably have no idea what she does. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure when that's going to come out. Definitely not tomorrow. Well, maybe tomorrow. If, if I can do it tomorrow, I will. But realistically, it probably won't be out till Wednesday, probably. So look forward to that. Also, the only other announcement I have is the fact that I have the demo for uh, Stellar Blade downloaded. I haven't played it yet. I have not played the game yet because I've been busy with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. <laughs> and also, I wanted to record myself playing Stellar Blade and I just haven't been able to like get a good chunk of time in order to record myself playing the whole demo. Uh, I will be able to do that soon though. Uh, maybe once day. I mean, I do have to make the Moxier video first. I will see. I'll do it soon. So the video should come should be coming out soonish. Keep an eye out for that if you're interested, I guess. Uh, if people like it, and maybe I'll do like a full playthrough once the actual game comes out. I don't know. We'll see. I do want to make something with Stellar Blade just because I think it'd be a fun thing to do. I don't know if I'll do a playthrough, like a, a review. I have no idea. I guess it depends on you guys. Like if you guys enjoy the demo video and we'll see where we go from there. Let me know if you want to see my face more, I suppose. Like I don't mind showing my face. Like I just haven't done it because like I just never felt like it. <laughs> so, yeah. But if you guys want to see my face more, by all means, let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Like I said, hopefully the video was good. Hopefully it was informative. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comments. Anyways, that being said, feel free to leave a like, dislike, subscribe, donate using Super Chat if you want to. It helps feel, uh, not feel, it helps me fuel. No. Fund. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> it helps me fund my uh, addiction to cute anime girls. So, you know, feel free to support me on that addiction. <laughs> and uh, I'll see you guys later. Or, do or don't. Uh, what is my outro <laughs> or don't thank you so much for watching uh, bye bye <laughs>